Williams. They have had a good day today, both games. But, uh, after we four runs, guys off to a very good start in the first inning. Kind of, what, what were you seeing out of the starting pitcher for James Madison? What was he giving you? What did you hit? <clears throat> well, he'd thrown five or six balls in a row leading up to my first at bat. So I was just thinking something hard, middle way, and I got it. Kind of hit it up into the wind and got out of here. Got us off to a good start. We got six in that first inning. Now you, uh, you guys were able to get a couple wins today. What kind of confidence does that give you and, and your teammates going into the rest of the season to be able to get off a good start? I think it's what we expected. We probably had the best practices preseason since I've been here. And so the guys are swinging it probably the best we ever had. When you get mad up there on the mound, he's not going to give up much. So we get in more than three or four, probably going to get a W with him on the mound. So we're really confident right now. We're swinging it good. You know, we got 14 or 15 guys that can hit pretty well. And so Coach Strap, uh, happy Valentine's Day to you. But you got a couple wins today. Yep. Uh, bounce back. The offense really looked nice, and you got a couple good starts out of your pitching staff. Uh, talk a little bit about Brad Hames and also Matt Fraud and what they did for you today. Yeah, as the old adage goes, you're only as good as your starting pitching. And both games, our starting pitchers came out and put up a lot of zeros at the beginning. Uh, and obviously, we played good offense today. But if you're starting pitching, it sets the tone with zeros, then even if you're not swinging it real well and only get up one or two to nothing, you feel like it's a really good day. If you fall behind, now now it's a whole different story. So I was really proud of Brad because uh, he, he faced a real good hitting Buffalo team. And then obviously Matt Frauden's Matt Frauden and has been for four years, and you expect him to go out and put up zeros. But that's a lot to put on a guy to expect that it's always going to be zeros. And, and somehow he just always makes every game low scoring. What we haven't done in the past and scored a bunch of runs for him. So I was proud today that we, you know, we scored six uh, right away, and then and we kept kind of, you know, swinging it pretty well after that. So proud of uh, of both of those guys. After a tough loss yesterday, how, how important you scored runs in the first inning of both games? How important yeah. was it to get up early? Well, we I thought we coasted yesterday in the in the loss to James Madison when we were up four to nothing offensively. Uh, it wasn't like we quit trying. I just don't think we were had that urgency. And when we scored six today in the first inning, you might have seen we got together with the whole team. And I, I told them, I said, we're not going to play this game not to lose. We're going to play to win. You keep playing. We're going to try to win every inning. Um, and we never lost an inning after that, which I was real proud. But I, I thought we did a much better job today of playing all nine innings. Because yesterday, if you looked at the game we lost, the first five innings belonged to us. Everything was going right. And you just felt like it was our day. And then all of a sudden, when they had the big inning, it was like we lost our confidence all at once. Today, I thought both games, we just kept kept plugging. We talk about bring the it factor. And I thought we had a lot of guys show the it factor in both games, getting big two out hits uh, for RBIs. And then, uh, you know, the second game, obviously Sam Fulginetti played well, and you guys interviewed him, and Tyler Best went three for three after not having a real good day yesterday. And the bounce back ability of this team was huge. And to get two wins today was, was big for us. Thanks, Joe. All right.